don't know about you, but I love a flash sale. And research shows that flash sales can increase transaction rates upwards of 35%. So in the scenario we're gonna cover right now, we're going to model a, an organization that's trying to alleviate a little bit of excess inventory with some sweaters that they have. And so the team has decided to create a really cool, it's sweater weather time flash sale. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the steps within Elastic Path on how to set up a flash sale for a certain set of products and even create an email campaign around that. The first thing I wanna do is show you our existing website. So this is our Elastic Path shop and we're gonna cover some of these topics in future scenarios. But as a merchandising team, what they wanna do is actually feature a new category under this buy heading for sweater weather, right? This sweater flash sale that they're going to create. So the first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna go into Commerce Manager, which is our merchandising tool with Elastic Path. And I'm gonna walk through the steps to quickly set up this new category. I'll create some subcategories and then we'll very quickly drop some products into those categories. So the first thing I wanna do is set up this new sweater weather category. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into Configurations and I'm gonna find my buy kind of high level nav and then create the parent node for sweater weather. So we're gonna make this a featured category. We'll click create. And then the other thing I wanna do is just create a couple of subcategories that allow me to merchandise based on, in this case, gender. So I'm gonna create for men and women. So now we have our new feature category called sweater weather set up. Now I'm gonna quickly drop some products on there. And the best way to do this, and what we hear from merchandisers, is they wanna quickly be able to search and find the products that are relevant and then merchandise directly from that search. So that's the scenario I'm gonna go through. So you can see in this particular catalog, I have about 1,300 products or so. So what I wanna do is I wanna do something, maybe like a filter on the description. I wanna find products that have the word sweater in their description. So I'm just gonna create a filter and I'm gonna go, let's look for sweater. And so now when I apply that filter, we can see my list of products has shrunken considerably down to 45. So now I just wanna go in and select the products and drop them in those categories that I created. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna drop all of the sweaters in the main category. So if a customer just clicks the sweater weather category, they'll see everything. So I'm gonna go in and grab a bunch of these sweaters. I can quickly scroll down just to pick the parent products. And there we go, we've got that one. And let's just grab this one more just to show the example. And then I'll scroll back up. And for my selected products, now I'm going to assign those to the node that I want. So I'm gonna go into my buy category. There's my new sweater weather category that we just created. And I'm gonna drop all of those products into that category. So I'm just gonna click next and you can see this is what's happening. All of those products get put in my sweater weather category and I will confirm. And again, I can merchandise in additional categories as well. These are my women's products and I'll deselect those. And let's drop these two, for instance, in my sweater weather men's category. We can assign to nodes and go in and pop those right where we want them. Sweater weather and drop those in men and we'll confirm those. And again, I can do the same thing with my women's products as well. We're gonna go just check and see. I'm gonna maybe look at my next page. Oh, I think I just have one full. Let's actually grab our stripe and maybe this mossy turtleneck. And let's drop those in the women's category. Buy the sweater weather and we'll put those in women. So again, I get my confirmation. So what I've just done in this scenario is I've taken products that I know I have excess inventory. I wanna create a category to feature these products. We called it sweater weather. And I wanna create a flash sale. So of course, the flash sale means I'm gonna set some sale pricing for these products. I've already done some of that, but I wanna show you how quick and simple that is within Elastic Path. So for instance, I'm just gonna click on this Cooler Santa Weather product. And we can see all the details for this product. And I'm gonna click on pricing. From a pricing standpoint, a couple of really interesting things here. 
first, you can see I've got my retail price, right? So this is for regular customers of our brand. We also support loyalty pricing. So if you run loyalty programs and you wanna offer certain products at a slight discount for your best customers, you can create a loyalty price list. But what we're doing for this flash sale is I'm creating a sale specific for this product. And you can see I've called it my sweater weather sale. And I've created a start and end date, and then I put in my sale price. So if I just click edit, you can see how quick and easy that is. I choose which price book I'm going to apply the sale to. I've given it a name. And every flash sale has a time box. For demo purposes, I create a big one. But of course, you can see it goes right down to the hour and minute. So you can really create some urgency around your flash sale. And then you put in your price. And of course, you do that by currency if you're a, if you're a global a brand. So I'm going to just save that. And so I've done that as a merchandiser for the products that I'm going to offer as part of this flash sale. So then the next thing I want to do is I've made some changes to my product catalog, right? So if you remember, we added that sweater weather category under our buy heading, right? So once I publish the catalog, we're going to see that come through. So let's go back to Elastic Pep Commerce Manager. And my retail catalog is what's pushing to my website and I'm simply gonna publish. I've made some changes to my products, added the flash sale, created the new category. And of course you can even time box that, that category as well. But I published that catalog. And so now a couple things are happening. All the information that we changed is getting pushed to our search engine. And it's also gonna get pushed to any other solution that we have integrated. And in this case, it's gonna be our email service provider because we wanna create a fun email campaign around this as well. So I've published my catalog and let's come back to our site and I'm just gonna refresh when I click under buy. Yep, there's my new sweater weather category. I've got women, I've got men. We'll come back and look at the products in a minute, but let's go in now and take a look at our email campaign. So this is just a test environment that I've set up and I've got the shell of a template already created, but we're gonna take a look at that template you can see I've got the content already built, Hello Sweater Weather, and those products that we've added to that category, I have access to here. So just as an example, I'm just gonna click on this product just to show you that it's not smoke and mirrors. If I wanted to change which product that I'm highlighting here, I can go in, click replace, and look in my product catalog, right? So all of my products get synced into my email solution. And I'm just gonna look for sweaters and we'll see some of it hasn't fully refreshed but we can see a few have already been pulled in. So now as the campaign owner I've created my email campaign I've linked it to the products I've got a buy now button and just to show a quick example of what can happen if I preview my email I can send a test to myself but if I click on this buy now button it's gonna take me right to the PDP for that product. I can see it's on sale. I can add it to my cart or I can buy now. And we're gonna talk in a subsequent video about how to enable the quick checkout through buy now. But in this case, I can add it to my cart. I can begin the checkout process. I'm gonna go ahead and log in as an existing customer. And we can see this is my information. I'm gonna select some delivery method. I don't have a gift card. I'm just going to skip that step and let's go ahead and put in my credit card information. As an existing customer, this is going in and pulling in my saved details, right? So this is a part of that quick checkout process. I'm a known customer to this Elastic Path Payments Network. So all I have to do is type in my code and it's going to bring in my details and I can verify those and place the order. So we'll get our order confirmation back. So from the perspective of the merchandiser, what they've been able to do in this scenario very quickly is create a new assortment of products for featured sweaters that they want to put on sale. The business reason behind doing that is really to alleviate some inventory that they have of sweaters that aren't selling. But by creating a fun campaign called Sweater Weather Flash Sale, they're creating that urgency with their customers to get the expected uplift and transactions around that flash sale. And in just a few clicks, I was able to create those products, put them in the right category, add the sale price. I published my catalog 
And then my email marketing team created the, the fun email using those same products that were synced automatically. And in minutes versus potentially days that customers spend doing this, in minutes, you've been able to get those products out onto your site, get the email out and create this fun sweater weather campaign.